Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. We have some news, but before we get into that, I just want to take a minute and ask you guys to make sure that if you like this type of content, that you hit that subscribe button as well as the bell next to it to be notified of every video I post here on the channel. And if you could do me a huge favor, give this video a thumbs up. That helps the channel out greatly every time you do that. Anyway, on with the news. The very first thing that I have for you guys is this image, and this image is a huge Giganotosaurus, obviously a Jurassic World Dominion style Giganotosaurus. I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to Antonio Donald who actually had sent me this image. He is telling me that this is a Spiral Studios or it looks like it's going to be a Spiral Studios release of a Jurassic World Dominion Giga in about one tenth scale. And man, is that gigantic. I think the sculpt really does look very nice on this. I don't know too much about Spiral Studios or this release itself, but I did want to show this off in a news video to kind of show you guys what could be coming from them if you were, in fact, interested in picking that up. We also have an update on the Galerme Belinsky Art Land Before Time Spike figure. We have some images here of it, and man, is it ever awesome. I love the facial expression here on Spike with the tongue kind of hanging sideways out of the mouth. As always, he has completely nailed it and knocked it out of the park when it comes to this figure because he has released two so far. He already has released Littlefoot as well as Sarah, and now we have Spike. I do have Littlefoot in my collection. Should be getting a hold of Sarah not long from now, and hopefully this this spike as well because it would be really cool to have the entire gang as he continues to create them but this spike figure again is as awesome as it gets and perfectly bringing to life that cartoon stegosaurus that we all know and love and then as far as marco makes goes we have some more images that you'll see as i discuss this of his mesozoic planet aka prehistoric planet figures he is creating but we also have information on the release of these figures they will be hitting the etsy store of marco makes on june 20th and uh that's definitely something you want to be ready for because these figures will without question be selling out very quickly i think these might even be more popular than his jurassic figures because there is a huge demand for prehistoric planet type figures right now ever since that documentary had released everybody is just aching to get some in their collection we also have this information here this image that shows off some more of the artwork of the box and everything but also gives us a lot of information about the time that these will be going up for sale on the etsy shop as well as you know information about the size the fact that they're hand painted and the fact that they're also resin models as well as the price point and the fact that he kind of made these with the idea of creating walking with dinosaur style figures for prehistoric planet which if you have any of the the walking with dinosaurs figures you probably love them because that series was amazing the figures were just as amazing i think as the series so this has a really cool nostalgic feel with a more modern day approach to how beautiful these figures are so again make sure you are prepared to hit the etsy shop of marco makes exactly at the time that you see here on the image as well as again on june 20th and order yourself some of these amazing figures as far as Queen Studios goes, we also have a look at a Blue and Beta 1 7 scale statue that they will be releasing. There seems to be a lot of Blue and Beta figures, models, and things like that coming out currently. I guess they are one of the biggest stars of the show in Dominion, even though you don't really see Blue or even Beta all that much throughout the course of the movie. But everybody loves Blue, it seems, and the fact that Blue now has a baby has everybody even more hyped for Blue and Beta. So again, a really cool release coming from Queen studios and yet again i think they did a very good job just like everybody else seems to be doing when it comes to these models beautiful sculpts beautiful paint jobs i'm not too familiar with queen studios i don't know what their final products look like but as far as what we see here these definitely look great and then we also have the full gallery of the Taurosaurus, the walking with dinosaurs style Taurosaurus that we'll be releasing from Creative Beast Studio and the Beasts of the Mesozoic. And just like I've been stating quite a few times now, this is my favorite version of the Taurosaurus. I know there are many people that are partial to the bluish version. A lot of people really love that kind of brighter and flashier paint scheme for a Ceratopsian like this. But personally, this one I think is much nicer. I do love the blue version, but this one just screams realism to me and uh, everything on this just just looks incredible definitely a must-have if 
you are a fan of the Beast of the Mesozoic, in my opinion, especially if you are a fan of walking with dinosaurs. No word quite yet on when this will go up for pre-order, but when it does, I will definitely let you guys know. And then as far as Mattel goes and the Jurassic World line, first of all, Target had unveiled their newest Beyond the Gates release, which is the Epic Battle Pack. And this, in my opinion, was a pretty big letdown, and it seems like the majority of the fans out there were pretty let down by this, because overall, it's basically just a bunch of figures that we've had released, or will have released in other individual sets, kind of repackaged with an exclusive Ellie Sattler. So to get the Ellie Sattler figure, you basically have to spend $120, because that is the pre-order price, and you would get yourself the T-Rex, you would also get the Therizinosaurus, as well as the Giganotosaurus. Now... The Giganotosaurus isn't something that I've seen pop up on any retailers outside of Entertainment Earth so far. I haven't seen it on Amazon or Big Bad Toy Store or anything like that. So as of right now, this is the only way that I know of to purchase this outside of Entertainment Earth anyway here in the United States. I haven't seen anybody else selling it quite yet. So it is a plus to kind of get the figure through this set, but if you already have the Rex and the Therizinosaurus, then you're going to be paying an outrageous amount of money to just rebuy figures you already have just to get the Giga and an Ellie Sattler. So I'm hoping that maybe at some point this will either hit like a sale and go down in price, and maybe I'd pick it up and just repaint the other two figures, or something along those lines, because I definitely do not intend on spending $120 to rebuy some figures that I already have. I actually already think I have two of each of the Rex and the Therizinosaurus, so I really don't want a third of each of those. And uh, I would like to have the Ellie, but it's not a must-have, if you ask me. And the Giga does look awesome, but I'm still hoping for an individual release on that one. And then a huge thank you goes out to Dino Mike Mac for these images, but we also have some images here of the Jurassic World Dominion Copter Combat Pack. We have seen a little bit of this in the past, but we didn't see too many images of it, so this gives us a much clearer look at what the helicopter looks like, as well as the Rajasaurus repaint. I think the helicopter looks awesome. If you're into like Jurassic World-style vehicles, that is a great addition to the Mattel Jurassic World line. The Rajasaurus, I love the tones of green that they've given it, but this is another of those instances where the figure you absolutely needed more paint out onto the body like it just looks so off because there's no coloration really for the second half of the figure and Mattel loves to do that kind of half figure paint job something they've been doing for a long time but it's really getting tiring at this point I would like to see more paint application added to the figures because it takes a really nice figure and could turn it into an excellent figure if there would just be a little bit more paint application still a pretty cool set so as of right now, guys, that's all the news I've got. When more comes out, I'll be sure to send it your way. But until then, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.